Piaja its award-winning James Beard Awards, Michelin Star, and of course, this past year, they were nominated for their wine program. I'm here with their sommelier. This is Rachel Lowe. Did I say it right? <laughs> <laughs> Rachel, what makes your wine program award winning? It's the history. So we've got 35 years of being open. It's been an accumulated list. My job was kind of made easy, whereas it's just to, to, to keep the, the beautiful shelves filled with back vintages and current vintages in general. Okay, so I'm a total novice. Yeah. Tell me about your wine list. Like, what makes it special? Well, so we've got a, a mostly Italian wine list. We have about 800 labels. Um, complete range of price points and styles, and then uh, it basically is listed to Italy north to south. How have you put your own stamp on it? Um, well, uh, part of that was with the pairing, so I'll always have an Italian pairing available, even if it's just on request. A different country with every course, so that's kind of where I came in and, and changed things up. Like, I think it's important to have a balance between maintaining relevancy and and modernizing your list and also respecting the history of the program here. Italy can be, it can be intimidating and polarizing, so it's nice to have somebody just kind of walk you through things if you have any questions. Well, I think we're gonna go now, you're gonna take me through some basics, right? Yeah, sure, absolutely. Approachable basics. <laughs> we'll start with like red, white, sparkling rosé. Okay. Four, four major categories there. So you actually have some suggestions. Yeah, totally. Um, so these are uh, four wines that we offer by the glass in uh, the main dining room, Spiaggia. So to start, certainly it's champagne. So. Okay. Um, this is a grower-producer champagne from Pierre Monqui. Um, it is all Chardonnay. Um, Why do you start off with champagne? Or well, I, I, any kind of sparkling, I think, usually has a nice amount of acidity, and then the bubbles kind of prime your stomach, get your uh, get your mouth salivating and ready for any kind of food. So um, as an aperitif should do, it makes you hungry and gets you excited for, for some food to eat. And then you said this is your suggestion for a weight. Yeah, so uh, we just recently put this on the menu. Um, it is from Campania, uh, Native Greco de Tufo. So Greco de Tufo is a DOCG or growing region um, down, a uh, very coastal region down on uh, the coast of Campania. So Greco is the grape. Um, it's high acid. Uh, variety that does well uh, down in a warmer climate. Should I be smelling it? Yeah, swirl you it? smell it um, because as it's been sitting in the glass, the, the, a lot of the aromas oh, are trapped yeah. in the glass. And then when you swirl it uh, afterwards, then the aromas kind of come out of the glass. It smells like grapes. Yep, there. Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's lovely. Okay. For reds, I have two options for you. The first is one of my favorites right now from Canteen of Alpane. Uh, Rouquet is the varietal. It's a local vari varietal indigenous to Piedmont. So we actually have two Piedmont wines here. Um, this is lighter, so I serve this wine to people who like Pinot Noir but want to try something different. Ah. So it's really floral. Um, it has the red fruit that you'll find in Pinot Noir, but um, it's really pretty florality to it, a little smokiness on the finish. Ooh, that's delicious. So, okay. Really my, nice. My favorite. Gorgeous. And you said that that would go with any kind of pasta meats Pasta, um, even lighter meats, you know, like chicken or, okay. or pork or something like that. I think grilled vegetables, it's got that smokiness on the finish, but it doesn't have crazy tannin mm -hmm. or um, like much like the Barolo you're about to taste. Now, um, Barolo, this is a splurge, right? Yeah, a little bit more of a splurge. This is Franco Molino. It's a single vineyard site, 2013 vintage. So Nebbiolo innately has uh, a and lot more. And is that the grape? Yeah. Okay. It has a lot more tannin and okay. acidity, so you really want to eat uh, food when you drink this wine. Oh. So that's something you'd want to just sit around and drink by itself. Oh, that's gorgeous. So good. And yeah. why does wine pair so well with food? Um, well, the structure of the wine is meant to kind of work with the food symbiotically. So um, in, the, in this case, you know, something with really extreme tannin um, actually breaks down fat in food. So oh. it's really good with like braised meats or something like that, or, or like the um, uh, pork or ragu, or it's a wild game, wild boar. Um, it breaks down fat really well. Well, thank you. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'll take all of this. Thanks, Rach. <laughs>